The impeachment trial of US President Donald Trump has entered its third day with opening remarks to continue from Democrats. It's the second of three days for Democrats to present their case as they try to convince senators and witnesses and documents are needed to further prove the president should be removed from office. Caroline Shively has the details. Throughout the day today, we expect to see House managers shifting their focus, using the evidence they presented yesterday to prove why they believe the president violated the Constitution. House manager Adam Schiff not holding back, claiming Russia could attack the United States and saying removal of the president from office is necessary to preserve the integrity of the 2020 election. The president's misconduct cannot be decided at the ballot box, for we cannot be assured that the vote will be fairly won. The opening arguments from House managers continued Wednesday. Democrats using video interviews, text messages, and transcripts to make their case to senators still on the fence about calling for witnesses and documents in the trial. Thinking that you can just take the same information and if you throw it out there enough, it'll change maybe anyone's point of view. I don't think that's gonna work. I think that a good number of my Republican colleagues for the first time heard the entire arguments powerfully, succinctly, and completely. After returning from Davos, the president took to Twitter, boasting about his support from GOP lawmakers and lashing out at Democrats as his defense team awaits their turn in the trial. We're going to respond, of course, to what the uh, House managers have put forward, and we are going to make an affirmative case defending the president. House managers are expected to wrap up their opening arguments tomorrow, giving the president's defense team its shot at opening arguments starting on Saturday.